Hey guys, it's Tay. Um, obviously. So, yeah, I leave in 17 days. That is like a little more than two weeks. Again, obviously. Um, I'm really getting excited and I'm also getting nervous because like 17 more days in the United States and then I won't be back here for 10 months so um, I'm really trying to appreciate every day um, not take things for granted like I may have in the past like my family and friends um hmm so oh I, I basically what I wanted to make this video. Um, I've had a lot of contact with other kids from all over the world going to my district which is Normandy and there's actually one other girl who's going to my town and my school and she's from Brazil. So that's really, I think her name's Caroline. It's really cool because usually that doesn't happen a lot to have another exchange student um, in the same town Unless the same school. So I'm really lucky. And um, hmm. I'm really lucky. Hopefully we'll get along and it'll be nice having someone to talk to. Being like, hey, how's it going? You know, kind of share feelings with. It's all emotional. Um, hmm. So... I don't know, I guess I kind of just wanted to say, like, to maybe people going on exchange or thinking about it. Um, I mean, I went on, I'm, I decided to go on this because I was really, I really wanted to. But, I mean, of course, some of it is just the change, like, you just want to do something new. Like, I've been going to the same school my whole life same kids and I have friends there and a couple best friends but so I just I was kind of I never really liked high school um, I just it wasn't a good experience for me and I just felt like it was time to move on so I did what I had to do to get out and I'm out hopefully if Nothing else complicates it, but but I think it's important if you're making any big change, like moving or switching schools or going from college, maybe even high school to college, it's like sometimes you just feel like, I need to get out of here, I need to get out of here. But I think it's also really important to stop and take a minute to also appreciate the good things. Like it wasn't all bad. Like I know... I didn't like my school a lot, and I didn't like some of the kids in there. But in the end, I came out with a couple good friends. Um, a lot of good memories with those friends. Or just, um, and you realize that it wasn't all bad. So just encourage anyone making a big change to appreciate what they're leaving, but also to look forward to what they're going into. So that's about it. Oh, as you can see, I my hair is a different color. Um, going to France, I'm not naturally a blonde. Those are my other videos, but I didn't feel like like it's kind of, it can get expensive keeping up with a hair color like that because my roots will show and I have to keep touching them up. And I just didn't want to have that hassle in France because I don't know if I'll have the chance to get to a hair salon, and even if I do, do I really want to waste all that time and money on my hair? And the answer was no. No, I do not. So it's going to go back to brown after this red period. So, yeah, because she had to fill it in with red to get the cuticle so that she could add the brown. Apparently my color of my hair originally is ash, like an ash blonde, which sounds ugly. It's also called dirty dishwater. So, beautiful hair. 
so beautiful, dishwater dirty. Yeah. No wonder why I wanted to change the color. It's ugly. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Bye.